Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with uh, Cash Pishutin uh, from Emblem uh, Developments and uh, as always uh, our dear friend Jenny Bowie from Melbourne. And we have something very exciting for you today and it's called Art Farm Condominiums coming up in uh, Mississauga here in Ontario and Dundas. And there's a lot of promised uh, you know, stuff that's going on in that patch of Mississauga, a lot of construction that's coming up, a lot of infrastructure that's coming up. And uh, this is the reason why I wanted to sit down with these guys, talk about the up and coming art form condos. And very soon is gonna be the talk of town. And Cash, thank you so much for having me today. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Emblem, you wanna tell me something about Emblem? Because a lot of people don't know about Emblem, especially when it comes to real estate. Yeah. But you do have a, a quite an impressive portfolio when it comes to uh, real estate as well. Well, Emblem is the private equity arm of our investment management business, mm -hmm. um, First Avenue, which is a multifamily office. Uh, we've advised and looked after the investment assets of high net worth families uh, for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. So we have a long history of finding opportunity and managing risk in the investment management space. Right. And Emblem is the private equity arm of First Avenue, and so it allows us to invest uh, capital in the pursuit of growth in something that's not related to the stock market. Right. So Emblem is very well capitalized because First Avenue manages assets of about a billion dollars, liquid assets. So we're very well capitalized. We have a very strong covenant and that those financial resources uh, have allowed Emblem to go about doing development at the high standard that we have. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now. Why Mississauga? There's a lot of action going all over the GTA. Toronto, East Toronto is taking, uh, there's a lot of uh, construction coming up. Why specifically Mississauga? Yeah, so Emblem actually um, has several projects right now. We have 10 live developments. Um, so we're very active and our projects are all over. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of Mississauga, we really, um, we, we see a lot of opportunity there. Um, you know, in 20 years of managing money, uh, we've, we've become very good at identifying opportunity. And um, with any investment, whether it's in the stock market or in real estate, uh, you have to strike the right balance of timing. Right. Right. So you need to be, you can't be too early because if you're too early, it's speculative. Yes. And you're hoping that a community will be built around the condominium or the home you've acquired. Mm -hmm. And you can't be too late. What I mean by that is if you buy in a very well-established neighborhood, then uh, it's great community. But from an investment perspective, uh, a lot of the juice has been squeezed from the fruit. Right. Right. And so for us, um, we see immense opportunity in Mississauga. Um, Toronto, we know over the last decade, has had significant population growth mm -hmm. and as a result, significant appreciation in housing prices. Uh, Mississauga has started that as well, but it's in much earlier stages than Toronto is. Right. So we see meaningful uh, uh, price appreciation mm -hmm. in Mississauga but even more so in Cooksville because Cooksville is even a little bit earlier stages than Mississauga as a whole. Right. So we were very excited when we started to really do our analysis on Mississauga, but more so Cooksville, mm -hmm. and dug deep into what is on deck for happening in that area. And as you may know, there is a master plan community right in the middle of where the art form project is. Yes. And so buyers are going to be part of not only a spectacular building, but a community that's, that's being built as we speak, as we invest, as we see the development of, of art form uh, take place. And I think on top of that, there's a lot of infrastructure coming as well. That's right. And that's a very healthy mix for the community because right now over there, I think Highway 10 is pretty jam-packed throughout. Yes. But once that uh, LRT comes in from Port Credit all the way to Brampton, and you know the art form is only 500 meters from uh, the LRT, basically. There's no question. Yeah, There's no so, question. So, so when you look at previous condominium projects that have done very well mm -hmm. from an investment perspective, there's generally two 
common denominators. Right. Um, and you don't need both, but you definitely need one. The first is we see projects that are part of a master plan community. The early projects that mm -hmm. are part of that community do exceptionally well in terms of appreciation and values. The second is being close to public transit. Yes. Right. And our form has both of those, uh, which we're very excited about from an investment perspective. As you mentioned, the fact that the building is 500 meters from the Cooksville Mobility Hub. You know, imagine acquiring real estate in an area where the city and the government have put over $100 million into infrastructure right there. Mm -hmm. That is going to create a mega hub of how people li will live and, and uh transport themselves in the coming years. So you have the GO train, you have the LRT, you have the BRT, you could take the the, the, the BRT to Kipling Station and now you're right. on the subway. So there's not many projects where you have access to all four different ways of public transportation with the ease that you do with our form. And then on top of that, you are so close to the hub of shopping, entertainment, uh, restaurants, dining, which is square one, yeah. right? And so we know the amount of development that's taking place there. Yeah. So to be that close to it, but not there full time, because as you mm -hmm. can imagine, there's times where you just want it to be quiet yeah, and you just sure. want things to slow down. So Cooksville is exciting because it's sort of like King West is to downtown Toronto, that's right? right. You, you have the hub of employment, right in the downtown core of Toronto where we're sitting today, mm -hmm. but King Street is a little bit further and it provides a sense of community that sometimes the right downtown doesn't. And to us, Cooksville is that to square one. And you're right because to me, it's a very good sweet spot between square one, which is coming up a lot more, yeah, uh, and then QEW on the other side and then you have the LRT as well. So you're pretty much, if you're working city center, area or if you're working even downtown or port credit you're in a very sweet spot where you can access pretty much both side of the you know places and right, then right. go anywhere you, you want. have you have all directions and you know when you think about mississauga sometimes for buyers they think mississauga that's far from downtown yeah right well we know with traffic as bad as it is the irony of it is you can get from art form to union station mm -hmm. faster than many people that live right in the city of Toronto get to Union Station yeah. or downtown yeah. because of the ease and access to public transit. And also the fact that like, you know, the it's it's you're not paying square one prices for price per square feet, neither are you paying Toronto prices, which are getting a bit ridiculous. Yeah. And and uh, the indication that we have had with the prices, you know, it's it's a very healthy price per square feet that you guys are aiming for and for an area that's up and coming and being revitalized the way it's going to be I think it's it's going to be you know it's it's going to be the talk of town for sure yeah <laughs> it's it's an important point and, and one thing I want to say sort of is the the emblem brand we, we are not willing to compromise right. wherever we do a project so it's important to talk about their price point which absolutely is very attractive some of the most attractive pricing that's been seen mm -hmm. in in that area and certainly less than square one but what's important and i think even more uncommon is what you're receiving in terms of quality of build right. quality of finishes for that price so if you look at the building mm -hmm. the art form building you can take and put it anywhere in toronto and it will hold its own mm -hmm. and often when you see areas that are up and coming you will not see the same commitment from the developer to the quality of finishes because the area doesn't justify it yet. We've taken a long-term view here with art form. When you look at it, you could take that building and put it in Yorkville, and it looks beautiful. It would it would stand its own in Yorkville. In right. fact, it looks like it should be in Yorkville, right? The exterior, there's no stucco being used, yeah. right? It's stone, it's brick, it's glass. You have large windows letting in lo lots of natural light. Yeah. Um, even the finishes inside the suites, right? They're, they're, we're doing, we're finishing these units at a standard that's very uncommon, right? Not only in square one, but just across the board. For example, when you look at the kitchens, we, we collaborated with U31, which is one of the most well-established designers, as mm -hmm. you know, in Toronto. 
they've worked on many of the the most recognizable downtown project downtown yeah. Toronto projects and they've been the designer on this project when you look at for example something like our kitchens right you look at the backsplash we don't use tile right mm -hmm. we use slabs for the back slab, mm -hmm. backsplash so when you look at the kitchen it's so seamless because you don't see any grout lines right. which again is the norm across the board we're bringing that at the price point that we're offering it at and the reason why we're doing that is because we are invested in this community we are doing more than just one project for sure. and so by setting the standard where we are it really helps create the community that we want to create right. in the Cooksville area right so you have slabs in the backsplash with that match exactly the same slab as you have on the countertops so when you look at that kitchen you're not sure why it works or it gives you that feeling of wow this is beautiful mm. but it does and that mindset we've carried throughout the entire project and that's that's great and that's that's the passion that the builders have towards the project like you know it, you can tell the difference yeah and uh, and Jenny you want to touch upon a little bit on this unit mixes yeah. the deposit structure the the goodies for the clients I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's right the goodie well, Art Forum is located at 86 Dundas Street East, which we all know it's uh, about 300 meters away from the center corridor of Dundas and here in Ontario. Right. That's where the LRT will be. Uh, we have approximately 336 units, and we also have an indoors and outdoor space of uh, over 17,500 square feet of amenities. Wow. Um, we have amenity with co-working space, um, which is we find it's important to have because nowadays people work from home, so that's yes. a good space for people to take clients there for meetings, not able that they don't want to take them home. Um, the sweet mix we have, I mean, cash will go in detail of the design because we spend so much time and and also like we have like between Emblem and I and JCI we able to create some incredible layout and the way how it designed we wanted to tailor and cater to the clientele in the area in that corridor mm -hmm. um, so the one bedroom plus den we don't have one bedroom we don't have studio because we realize that a lot of people you know now you, you don't I mean one plus ten you need a space with an office and we want to create that den that it can be like a flex where you can use as a bedroom if right. you need to um, and then we also have one bedroom plus den um, and then two bedrooms and two bedroom plus den that over 800 square feet. Now a lot of our one bedroom plus den, the second bedroom, uh, the den can be used as a bedroom. Same thing with a two plus den. It mm -hmm. could be a three bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. So there's no wasted hallway design. Um, we have smooth ceiling. We have so many incredible finishes, which Cash is going to touch on that. Uh, frame the glass shower, for instance. Most builders don't give that. But yeah. Those are the detail that we put in. And that's what makes that feel of luxury and that feeling that we don't compromise anything on our finishes just because this building, like Cash said, we could put that into Yorkville and it still fit yeah. just because the design of it, so much attention yeah. to detail. The Emblem brand is really predicated on exceptional design, right? And for us, we view that there's no substitute for exceptional design. There's no amount of money you can spend that will make up for a building that's not well designed, mm -hmm. right? So. Finishes are very important, yes. but we start with something even more important, which is the design. So when you look at the floor plans of, an, of any Emblem project, you will see there's not an inch of wasted space, mm -hmm. right? When your client buys a, build, a unit from floor plans, what they don't know is when they're buying a, build, a unit that's 600 square feet and 80 of that square feet is hallways, mm -hmm. right? They're not really buying a 600 square foot unit that's very right yeah right? yeah and so we imagine living in that space before the client gets the keys and walks in and says wow this is feels smaller than I thought mm -hmm. right we are obsessing about those details every floor plan whether you buy the smallest unit or the largest unit in an emblem project you will see that there was an obsession with the design so we start with that before we even get to the finishes Right, yeah. and so that's why I'm sure in your experience you've seen you'll walk into a unit that's 600 square feet mm -hmm. and it feels larger than a unit that's 800 square feet. That's what great design does, exactly. right? Yeah. And so we've done that with with all facets. As Jenny mentioned, the our end goal here is is focusing on what the quality of life is, 
right? And the best way to achieve a, a great quality of life in a condominium building is to obsess with design, right? Because at the end of the day, if the countertop is white or black, it becomes very ordinary over time. That's right. Right? But if you have a great design building, unit, common areas, that's something that you enjoy every day and vice versa. If you have a unit that didn't have much time and attention spent to the design and how the homeowner will use that space, it will feel uncomfortable forever and that doesn't get old either. Right. So there, that's why I say that there's no substitute for great design because it really is true. On the amenity space, we have 17,500 square feet yeah. and that's a lot in terms of square footage, but what's important is, remember, this is not a high-rise building. We intentionally wanted to create a boutique-like feel. Mm -hmm. When we acquired this site, it was 26 stories, right? We brought it to 17 because we're able to, to achieve greater character, right? You, you never look at a 40-story building and say it's a boutique building, yeah. right? Um, and don't get me wrong, we're, we're working on a 40-story building in downtown Toronto, mm -hmm. but in this area, in Cooksville, this is what the right product is, we feel. And so the 17,500 square feet of amenity space is being used by 17 floors, right? You have buildings that have more square footage in terms of amenities, yeah. but they're, they're sharing that with a lot Love more it. units. Yeah. So as a homeowner, your ability to enjoy that amenity space is compromised when you have more people using less space. So that type of detail and thinking is present throughout. When I think about the, the outdoor space, for example, this site is beside a creek. Mm -hmm. And so we really wanted to take advantage of that and have the homeowner benefit from that. So um, one of our outdoor spaces is when you're sitting there, you have mature trees all the way around, so it's green, tree line perimeter you hear the right. water flowing so you're getting very much a backyard feel as mm -hmm. if you're sitting in your backyard of your home yeah but you're getting that in a condo which again is unique because often condos are you know the concrete jungle exactly. right yeah. so this type of thought and and intention with how we design all details comes forth and i think that's part of why we have seen so far such an overwhelming interest in this project mm -hmm. because I think many underestimate buyers are are, are well informed you mm -hmm. know they know the difference between a project that's been rushed Definitely. and just a condo mm -hmm. compared to something that really has had the passion behind it and taken our time and we haven't cut the corners and we're, we're glad to see that end users and, and the buyers recognize that and we've seen that through the overwhelming interest we've seen in this project so far and you know those kind of finishes the the you know when when a project is rushed or feels rushed that's what puts the the buyers the clientele off because the next time when somebody launches a product who's the builder oh okay well you know what i've had a bad experience and i know what the finishes are like yeah. that's a that's a that's a, 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 a losing a sale right away yeah and you know, and I have uh, clients who are okay. Who's the builder? Yes, get me get get me a unit. It's it's that simple. Yes. The reputation, the uh, the finishes, the product itself. That is that is, um, in a way, creating a following. Yes. Is like yeah, for sure. Absolutely. You know, three years, four years down the road, there's another project that comes yeah. up. By all means, yeah, go, go ahead with it. It's a and great it's, point. And you know, for us coming from a finance background, being numbers mm -hmm. people spreadsheets the the interesting thing is people that know me know how passionate I am about design right and emblem is a way for me to output some of my passion for design my creative side mm -hmm. and we've done that with this project we do that with all of our projects and what that means is again you you're very hands-on with development right and so something as as when you look at the kitchens I will be at the millwork factory on a Saturday looking at the grains. Mm -hmm. I absolutely will, right? I will be involved in the paint color. You know, there's over 200 different whites that you can paint <laughs> and put on a wall. I can tell you the paint code of what we've chosen to use there because I, I want when the light t that hits it mm -hmm. to not feel too cold and blue, you know, but at the same time, I don't want the wall to have a beige feel to it either. 
I want it to be completely neutral. So if you like your furniture to be green and blue, it really accentuates your furniture. Whereas if your neighbor likes more of a neutral palette, it accentuates that palette as well. That level of thought and consideration benefits and, and is shown in the end product regardless of location. We so happen to have both with this project, that level of passion yeah. in the, the building itself. And then of course, what we spoke about earlier, which is the location, given where it is in proximity to square one and all of the public transit that's available as well. And I mean, the level of involvement is, is, is amazing. It's is like attention to detail. You already kind of know, yeah. like, you know, you're, you're getting into something that's gonna be fantastic. Absolutely. Passion <laughs> is not something you can fake. No, right. For sure and not. when someone has it, whether it's the person that makes your coffee in the morning, or the person that cleans your car, or you know, whatever industry yeah. you're in, passion is really the most important starting point to being the best in your field. That's right. Right. Because we all know how difficult this industry is. All industries are, and so you always go that extra mile when the passion is there, because you're there for the right reasons. And the passion that we have at Emblem shows, again, the more you learn about the buildings, the more you see, wow, they didn't have to do that, but they did. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting that they thought of that. It's interesting that they did this. You know, Like, for example, Jenny mentioned something as simple as not having frameless glass around the showers. Mm -hmm. When you walk into the bathroom and you say, wow, it's beautiful, and you're not sure why, I would say nine out of 10 buyers would not know the difference to say right away, oh, it's beautiful because it's a frameless glass shower, right? right? They don't know the reason why, but that doesn't matter. For us, our greatest pursuit, our greatest accomplishment as a developer is delivering that feeling to the buyer. It doesn't matter why they feel that way. We just want them to feel, wow, this is beautiful. Wow, this is functional. Yeah. And it's all of those details that help us get there. And that is that is what is a key ingredient to a successful project. And then, you know, like I said, a, a great following. Because if people know a standard has been set, and uh, you know they can expect something like that every time. A half hour, uh, my job is done easily halfway. Who's the builder? Emblem. Yeah, get me again. No, no, no questions asked. And uh, and that's that's exactly what it is. It's it's perfect. I mean, so <laughs> to add to Cash's point, attention to detail. I mean, the, to balance even you know when you live in a condo, Cash always said you don't want to live in a concrete jungle. Exactly. The way how we designed this building is we have the unit. Every single unit would either have a balcony or a terrace. Mm -hmm. So we have terraces as big as over 1,200 square feet, which is for an empty nester who's wow. having multi-million dollar home in Mississauga who doesn't want to live in you know a house because they step back up and down the stairs. Mm -hmm. They can buy this condo and enjoy the outdoor lifestyle as well as the indoor and the convenience of the location. Yep. And in terms of amenity, we, you know, even 24-hour concierge, we want to make sure that, you know, security and also with a lot of uh, online shopping these days, we want to make sure that people receive their packages. So yep. we, we even create a parcel room that is big enough to house a lot of the packaging, mm -hmm. just because a lot of us are shopping online, we don't want to go up there and shop Things have anymore. changed quite a bit, yes. Yeah. And then the outdoor space, even you know the detail to the color um, of the uh, co-working space. I mean, Cash has a hand in picking the detail of that color. Yeah, we're very involved. I yeah. mean, um, you know, there's a lot of psychology be behind what different colors make you feel. Yeah. Right. So we we think about that when we're designing co-working spaces. Right. We want to create spaces that, again, you really enjoy being there. Mm -hmm. You're not sure why you enjoy it, but you do enjoy it. But that's our responsibility as a developer, right? When I think about even something like our, our flooring, sort of, we, the flooring we used, we look at how is that oxidized with the sun hitting it and what color will it be six months, eight months, 12 months, right. 24 months later. Wow. You know, again, because if you have a flooring that looks beautiful and when sun hits it, it oxidizes and it changes color, all of a sudden now, that's our brand. We, we, mm -hmm. we view it that way. For sure. So you might buy something on day one that looks beautiful, but a year later, it's not. Mm -hmm. So again, these are things that I would say 90% of buyers are not thinking about. And we think about them not because we know that they're thinking about it. In fact, it's the opposite. We know they're not thinking about it, but we still think about it and we still envision living in the space that they're going to live in. Right. Because our pursuit is to deliver that intangible feeling that's so powerful 
intangible yet so powerful, which is it just feels right. And that's something you don't see nowadays. You don't see the level of involvement that you're, uh, you know, with whatever you just said. That's so amazing because you don't get to see the level of involvement. Uh, it's it's uh, and it's it's uh, I'm 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 honestly amazed. Like the the amount of involvement, your personal involvement in this. Thank you. It's it's uh, you just don't get to see that. Yeah. It's, it's it's spectacular. We're excited about this, and uh, we're we're looking forward to unveiling more. Next week, we'll have floor plans available, unit mixes, right. um, layouts, um, and then we'll, we'll roll right into the sales center in the next few weeks. But we, like I said, we've had overwhelming interest, and it makes us proud because it tells us that the, you know, the, the buyers need to be given more credit than they have been in the past mm. in being able to recognize the difference between a project that's been cared for and there's real passion behind it and something that's been rushed to come to market. For sure. And then, you know, like it, it, the, the things we've touched upon, especially like, I mean, something like the glass, the way you look at it, and I was, uh, you know, mentioning this to Jenny before, you see that glass, it, it gives you such an open space, and especially with that, like, you know, little green belt going right next to the building. Yeah. It's it's a beautiful facade. It's, it's a great amount of sunlight going into every unit almost and it's it's a great uh, it's a great looking building with the, a lot of glass a lot of natural sunlight from pretty much all over the place That's right i mean even on the glass most buyers if they look at it they wouldn't know but you know there's a lot of different shades of glass you can buy mm -hmm. right and some glass is going to have more of a blue hue to it and some glass is more clear well, if you take a sunny day and you put that sun through the blue hue glass and the amount of light that that unit gets is different than if you take the same sun and put it through a different shade, a more clear glass. Again, these are the type of level of detail yeah, that we're thinking about with every facet of the, the project. Right. And then honestly, like us, we've been marketing this for ever since she brought it up. And uh, because we go back a long time, yes. And then uh, you know, if Jenny's working on it, it has to be a good project. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, so we've been we've been uh, you know doing our meetings, and the response has been actually very good. Yeah. So uh, the upcoming community, the the you know the 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 deposit structure, for example, that we touched upon. If you want to uh, go ahead and uh, tell us what that is, yes. Again, uh, it's it's going to be you know it's going to be very easy on the pocket. It's going to be very attractive. I've been trying to sell this project to my wife as well. <laughs> so too bad we have a closing for our house next year. But you know there's an, uh, there's another building coming up. So there's always uh, you know. You're buying a second one. Exactly. All right. We already spoke about this. We talked about this. Yes, <laughs> he is buying one. Yeah. We're reserving it for you. Um, deposit structure. I guess everyone who purchased a condo, especially new construction, it's a long, you know, long-term horizon right. for appreciation. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that people, um, once you know, when you put the deposit down, it's easy in your pocket, like you said. So yes. it's five percent per year. Very nice. So it starts with five thousand dollar with the offer, mm -hmm. and then the balance of five percent in thirty, 30 days. days, and then another five percent in two thousand twenty-one, and another five percent in two thousand twenty-two. And then five percent on occupancy, which is twenty twenty four. That's right, spring twenty twenty four. But the best part is, we designed the building to and and the unit that the price point it's going to be affordable in terms of what people can afford. Because a lot of people talk about I want this, I want that, but at the end of the day, it's what you can afford. Mm -hmm. And we know and we think as well is that around six sort of hundred thousand dollar, it's sort of a sweet spot for. Mm -hmm price point. So we designed eighty percent of our unit to be six hundred thousand or under. Very nice. Yeah. With fifteen percent deposit, which is ninety thousand dollar. I mean if you look at King West Winston, I mean the Cookville area, we've you know, we compare ourselves to sort of that King West seventeen years ago. Right. When you you purchase a one bedroom plus den, two bath with parking for in the low three. Now the same oh, yeah. unit is either I would say closer to a million dollars. So you see the appreciation in the last, you know, 17, 15 years to right. be, what, 300%? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, do the math. So that's where the, the detail, attention, and Cash always said, you know, Emblem is obsessed with the design as well as what we cater all of this floor plan to the, the purchaser because mm -hmm. we have them in mind from even being 
you know, 16 minute BRT bus ride away from University of Toronto. Mm -hmm. I always mention University of Toronto, um, you, um, Mississauga campus. I went there and mm -hmm. when you look at traveling an hour and a half from the city to school, oh, yeah. it, none of the parents want that. I mean, yes. it just, you know, you want to save time and you want to be able to, to get to school in and out, you don't want to think about it. So that is also a very big rental pool as well for investor who's thinking of buying something maybe for their children later on to use to attend university or to live there. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of, you know, your children or perhaps yours or, you know, even mine might not be afford to have any, uh, buy a million dollar home. That's right. Just because it's not even affordable 20 years from now. That million dollar home could be, you know, two, three million dollars. So to build wealth, and to even em empty nester who is not at this point ready to retire yet, they can buy it, rent it out, and then have someone pay off the mortgage, exactly. and then retire in it, because by the time you're ready, it's already mortgage free. So, I mean, going back to yeah. investment point. It's strong. Yeah. And not only is the deposits schedule compelling, and the introductory pricing is compelling, mm. but that's not coming at a sacrifice or a compromise. You know, we've talked about the quality and the finish of the exterior, right? And you see it with the stone and the glass and not using stucco or mm -hmm. stucco-like materials. We've talked about it in the interior suites, you know, how we consider the size of the windows, the finishing on the floors, the, the slab instead of the tile backsplash. Mm -hmm. So it's rare that you're able to have both, right? You're able to have attractive, pricing, attractive deposit schedule, and have this level of finish all with with a developer that's so passionate about what they do. So we feel that by far our form is the best project in Mississauga. We really believe that. And we're happy to discuss the reasons why. As you can see, it's very multifaceted. Right. It's location, it's price point, it's the, the neighborhood and how it's up and coming. It's the passion behind what we're doing. It's how well designed you'll see in the floor plans there is no bad floor plan in this building mm -hmm. there isn't um, and the finishes so it really is such a multifaceted project and again as you know and i know from the overwhelming uh, amount of interest that there has been before we've even launched the details it speaks to the fact that buyers are more informed and more educated today than they've ever been and they recognize the difference very nice. I'm very excited to work on this project. We've had a splendid uh, response so far. We, you know, we keep on having meetings in our office, and then just can't wait for the project project to launch and, uh, you know, uh, swing it, swing the bat, and uh, get the ball out of the uh, the field. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much for having me, and uh, thanks for your time. You're most welcome. Thank you. Uh,